you will be able to use the Web Benefits site to make your open enrollment elections. You will be able to access the Web Benefits via your Paylocity self-service portal by clicking on the Applications tab and selecting Enterprise Web Benefits from the drop-down options. You will not need a separate username or password to access your account. Once logged in, you will see this as your home page. Go to Start Your Enrollment. There are four steps to complete enrollment. First step is to uh, make sure all of your personal information is correct with your name and your social security number, date of birth, uh, confirm whether or not you are a tobacco user, and then you must confirm your address because that is where your benefit card will go. After that, click I agree, and then continue. Step two will be to enter or verify any family information. If we had any of your family members on file, we uploaded the information into the web benefits site. If we did not, you will need to enter their information regardless of if they are enrolling in benefits or not. To add a dependent, click the Add Dependents link. From there, you will be prompted to enter their name, date of birth, social security number, uh, gender and relationship and if they are not if they are or not a tobacco user. Once you have entered and verified that all the information is correct, you can either save and add another or save and continue. Once you have entered all dependent information or verified that it is correct, you will click the I agree button and then click continue. Step three will be to make benefit elections. As per the email I sent out last week, this open enrollment is for medical and vision only. If you choose to waive coverage for both medical and vision, you will click the I do not want this benefit button on both, and it will, t and it will tell you that you have waived this benefit. If you, would, if you would like to choose to enroll, then you click on View Plan Options. From this screen, you will then decide which dependents you would like covered under your medical plan. I will choose just the spouse and hit Continue. And it will bring up my price for the Open Access In-Network Plan or the Open Access Plus Plan. If I would like to change and see how much it would be if I added my child. You will see this number updates. When you click on. And when you take away the child and the spouse, this number updates again to, to reflect your true cost. And you can click, scroll up, to compare side by side, and it will tell you the difference in a one screenshot. And from here, you will be able to click on the summary benefits to see exactly what it includes. Again, this information was included on the email that Alex sent last week to everyone. So you can go back to plans and again, make your selection. So if you decide to do employee only, you would click it and it would take you to the next screen. Then for vision, you will decide which dependents you want, if you want any of them covered. And it will give you prices and you see they will alternate and I will cover spouse and child and now I have the total cost of my benefits for my medical and my vision who I have covered and who I waived coverage for and once you do this you will click continue Step four will be to review all of your benefit elections. 
You may get the this benefit election is pending until approved by HR department. Warning, that is okay. That just is given to us and we go in and approve your elections. If everything is right on the screen. You will then go to the bottom and read this small paragraph that says that you have uh, you agree to the elections you have made and you have 30 days to make or update any life-changing events and once you are finished reading that you will agree and then complete enrollment. After that you will then have the option to view or print and save your election statement that you can keep in your file. And as long as you get the big green check that your enrollment is complete, you are done.